One of the things that we say to our clients is that their employee value proposition needs to be uh, distinctive, it needs to be differentiated and substantiated. Mm -hmm. And I know that you've done a significant amount of work to be able to attract people, but it also sounds like, in your case, that it repels the type of people who won't fit. Oh, it, it absolutely does. Yeah. The, the, the culture it will will really kind of be a magnet for people who feel like it's some place that they've always been looking for. They've just have never felt that empowered in other places, and they'll be drawn to it. Uh, and individuals who aren't interested in that type of accountability or that interested in, um, you know, battling a little bit to get the resources you need uh, in a good way, battling. As I said, it's constructive, uh, yes, you know, yeah, kind of yeah. discontent in there. Uh, but yeah, it absolutely will help people realize that maybe this isn't the right place for me, and and that's that's good for everyone if it's not the right place. For Makes sense. So uh, I'm going to guess that people who are used to an awful lot of process and things that are highly buttoned down where they can't put their thumbprint on it and they're less entrepreneurial probably won't last a whole long in a company like yours. No, they don't last very long. We, we want people to feel like they have ownership of, yeah. of what's going on in their geographic area. And we give guidelines, we give guardrails, we give resources, uh, right. and then we get out of the way. Yeah. That's that. When I look at you know what we have to do as individuals and leadership in the company, that's the resources. Make sure the resources are there, make sure the direction is really clear, and then stay out of the way and let the people do what is really important for them to do.